Right friends, welcome back to third module of banking awareness, a snapshot on banking operations. We are discussing various aspects of banking and so far we have discussed what is the meaning of cost of funds, what is the meaning of yield, what is the net interest margin and what are various types of accounts and we have already discussed savings bank accounts as well as the current accounts and CASA ratio, CASA ratio is nothing but the ratio of current account and savings account to the total deposits. The ratio of current account, savings account to the total deposits in the banking system that is known as CASA ratio. Last week we discussed about the savings account, current account and the CASA ratio and one more point I told you in the last class. the current accounts and the savings accounts put together are known as demand deposits. Demand deposits, current accounts and savings accounts. Why they are called demand deposits? That also I have explained. Why they are called demand deposits is uh, today you can draw deposit, tomorrow we can withdraw. That means uh, you can withdraw at any point of time. These deposits are uh, payable on demand that's why they are called demand deposits and at the same time you can call them demand liabilities at the same time you can call them demand liabilities after all deposits in the banking system are nothing but liabilities we learnt in the first lecture itself as deposits are known as the liabilities uh, here these two types of deposits are known as uh, demand liabilities and we are going to discuss three types of deposits in this class that is fixed deposits, recurring deposits, bulk deposits. Fixed deposits, recurring deposits, bulk deposits. The feature of these three types of deposits is they are not payable on demand. They are for specified agreed period. They are for specified agreed period between you and the bank. If you are depositing money for 6 months, your deposit will mature after 6 months. That means, you can take your money after 6 months only. Please do not forget, savings account deposits, current account deposits or demand deposits or otherwise demand liabilities. You can deposit at any time, you can deposit at any time, you can withdraw at any time. That is why they are called demand liabilities or demand deposits. But fixed deposits, recurring deposits, bulk deposits, these are time deposits or time liabilities because they are for a specified or agreed period. If you want to withdraw money, before agreed period, you have to pay some penalty. The second difference between savings and current account deposits and fixed deposit receipts is checkbook facility is not available for fixed deposit accounts. Checkbook facility is not available for fixed deposit, recurring deposit and bulk deposits. Whereas, checkbook facility is available for savings account and current accounts. When it comes to nomination, we have already discussed nomination facility is available for savings accounts, but nomination is normally not available for current account deposit holders. But when it comes to recurring deposit, fixed deposit and bulk deposit account holders, nomination facility is available. It is in the interest of the customer to nominate a nominee to the bank account. Whatever the type of deposit, whether it is a savings deposit, fixed deposit, recurring deposit or bulk deposit, it is in the interest of the customer to nominate a nominee. Right. Having recapitulated all these things, let us move on to this core aspects of this module that is what is fixed deposit? What is recurring deposit? What is bulk deposit? We are going to discuss these aspects 
what is uh, fixed deposit what is uh, recurring deposit and what is bulk deposit these are time liabilities for fixed time fixed deposit receipt is for fixed time normally the time period varies from 7 days to 10 years in the indian banking system the time frame for fixed deposit accounts varies from 7 days to 10 years you can deposit your money for 7 days you can also deposit for 10 years and in between whatever time period you want you can deposit your money second important point is nomination facility is available it is advised to fix a nominee for each and every fixed deposit account checkbook facility is not available checkbook facility is available only for demand deposit accounts that is savings and current account deposits the other important aspect is interest rates will be slightly higher for senior citizens senior citizens means 60 or 60 plus age group 60 or 60 plus age group is senior citizens and interest rates will be slightly higher for senior citizens second important aspect is as the time period increases interest rates will also increase as the time period increases interest rates will also increase if you deposit fixed deposit for around 6 months interest rate may be around 7% but if you do the same for 5 years period interest rate may be around 8% or 9% here also interest rates are deregulated banks will determine their own interest rates RBI has got no say in this as a matter of fact RBI does not regulate any interest rates in the banking system other important aspect of fixed deposit account is you can take money prior to the agreed period that means you deposited money for 3 years but you want money due to some emergency after one year you can still take money back before the agreed period but banks will impose some penalty the other important aspect is loan facility is available up to 90% of uh, your uh, principal as well as interest you have deposited 5 lakh rupees for a period of 5 years but you are in need of money after one year there are two options to you one is you can close the deposit and take banks will impose a penalty you can take loan against that 5 lakhs banks will give up to 90% let us look at the other important points here we have already learned in savings bank accounts interest income up to 10000 rupees is exempted from income tax you need not pay any income tax in savings deposit accounts up to 10000 income but the entire interest income in fixed deposits is taxable you have to pay tax for the interest in fixed deposits in savings bank account deposits up to 10000 it is uh, free from income tax you need not pay income tax but in fixed deposit accounts that facility is not given by the government you have to pay income tax for each and every paisa you earn as interest in addition to that if your interest income exceeds rupees 10000 if your interest income exceeds rupees 10000 banks will deduct tds bank itself will deduct income tax which is known as tds or tax deduction at source banks itself will deduct income tax which is known as tax deduction at source and 
to avoid that if you are not coming into the bracket of income tax payee you can give 15g form to the bank you can give 15g form to the bank so as not to cut income tax from your income if you give 15g to the bank banks will not deduct tds similarly if you are senior citizen you have to give 15h form then they will not deduct if you are not giving 15g and if you are senior citizen if you are not giving 15h they will deduct income tax if your income is more than 10000 rupees if your interest is more than 10000 they will deduct income tax and deposit with income tax department and if you want to avoid it you have to give 15g or 15h if you are senior citizen this is all about the income tax regulations with regard to the fixed deposits other important aspect is quoting permanent account number or pan number is a must if you are depositing 50000 or more quoting pan number is must when you are depositing 50000 or more and know your customer guidelines or kyc guidelines or a must for any type of account and these kyc guidelines and details about kyc guidelines we are going to discuss in the subsequent lectures and two three things i would like to tell you with regard to fixed deposit accounts the other name for fixed deposits is term deposits fixed deposits other name is term deposits but there are two types in term deposits one is traditional or standard term deposit the other one is cumulative term deposit what is the difference between these two standard term deposit or traditional term deposit is on your deposits they will give you income every 3 months or every 1 year that means if you are depositing 1 lakh if you are getting 2000 income every quarterly they will give you that 2000 they will deposit that 2000 into your savings bank account in a traditional fixed deposit account or standard fixed deposit account banks will give you interest every 3 months or 1 year but in cumulative fixed deposit account they will not pay you interest they will add that to the fixed deposit and interest will be calculated on that interest also and interest the principal everything you will get after the agreed period in the standard fixed deposit account you will get interest to your account once in 3 months or 1 year but in cumulative fixed deposit account you don't get interest in between entire interest entire principal will be given to you after the agreed period this is the difference between standard fixed deposit account cumulative fixed deposit account the other important point i would like to tell you i have told you there is an option to take back money before the agreed period if you are in need of it if the agreed period is 3 years you can take back after 1 year but you have to pay penalty to the bank recently reserve bank of india gave some guidelines as per that guidelines all the fixed deposit accounts below 15 lakhs should have facility for withdrawal before maturity all the deposits below 15 lakhs should have facility for withdrawal before maturity for deposits above 15 lakhs you may have premature withdrawal facility or you may not have premature withdrawal facility if you opt for without premature withdrawal facility banks may give more interest above 15 lakhs but all the deposits below 15 lakhs should have premature withdrawal withdrawal facility or otherwise known as all the deposits below 15 lakhs can be callable only and above 15 lakhs can be callable or non callable this instructions 
given recently by RBI. Please don't forget. The other important point is uh, banks uh, should not differentiate interest rates based on quantum of deposit up to 1 crore. If someone is depositing 1 lakh, if someone is depositing 90 lakhs, if someone is depositing 80 lakhs, if someone is depositing 1000 rupees, all should get equal interest. But the difference of interest can be for senior citizens only. At the same time, difference of interest can be for period. If you are depositing for shorter period, you may have lesser interest. If you are depositing for longer period, you may have more interest. Right friends, after that, let us look at recurring deposits. Recurring deposits are similar to fixed deposits. But the main difference between fixed deposits and recurring deposits is uh, fixed deposits, you are depositing at a time. If you are depositing 1 lakh rupees, you are depositing at a time and you are getting after the agreed period. But in recurring deposits, you may opt for depositing it every month. It is another type of uh, saving instrument. If a small businessman is getting some income every month, this will act as a saving instrument. So, recurring deposit is deposit at regular intervals, but maturity will be after agreed period. And for recurring deposits also, tax deduction at source is applicable. For savings account deposits, no tax deduction at source. For fixed deposit accounts as well as recurring deposit accounts, tax deduction at source is applicable. If your interest income is more than 10,000 rupees, banks will deduct tax and will deposit the income tax department. If you want to avoid that, you have to give 15G certificate to the bank and if you are senior citizen, you have to give 15H. And for recurring deposit accounts, interest rates are almost similar to fixed deposit accounts. They are also matured after agreed period. But here the facility is you can deposit in regular intervals. Right? Here also most of the features are similar to fixed deposit accounts. Nomination facility is available, checkbook facility is not available, TDS is applicable. Premature withdrawal is possible. All the features are similar to fixed deposit accounts. Right? Fixed deposit accounts, recurring deposit accounts are known to everyone. But the last one is bulk deposit accounts. Bulk deposits accounts are 1 crore and above. If you are depositing 1 crore or above, you comes under the category of bulk deposits. For bulk deposit accounts, interest rates may be different. They may be slightly higher than fixed deposit accounts. And interest rates vary here because these are deposited by high net worth individuals or corporates or rich people. They may deposit 200 crores, 500 crores. If they are not in need of money, they have excess liquidity. They may deposit 500 crores, that is bulk deposit and the interest rates here will vary. And depending on the requirement for the bank, if bank is in need of liquidity, they may give more interest. So bulk deposits or deposits 1 crore and above, they are meant for high net worth individuals. And banks may give more interest and in the fixed deposit interest rates, fixed deposit category is different, bulk deposit interest rates are different. Both the interest rates are given separately or announced by the bank separately. 
and here one more important aspect is for the deposits above 1 crore banks may have different interest rates for deposits above 1 crores banks may have different interest rates depending on the quantum of money if someone is depositing 100 crores they may give one interest if someone is depositing 500 crores they may give more interest if someone is depositing 1000 crores they may still give more interest so depending on the quantum of money interest rates may vary for bulk deposits but i have already told you for fixed deposits up to 1 crore banks should not vary depending on quantum of money if someone is depositing 1 lakh someone is depositing 99 lakhs they should get same interest for same period banks can only vary the interest based on the time period and second thing is for senior citizens they can give more interest but when it comes to bulk deposits banks can give more interest when the money is more that means flexibility were given to banks to collect money whenever there is any need of liquidity right friends we have discussed demand deposits they are savings account and current account fixed deposits recurring deposits as well as bulk deposits these three fall in the category of time deposits or time liabilities so far we have discussed various types of deposits and this concludes third module do join for fourth module have a nice day thank you